The ulnar collateral ligament, or UCL, of the thumb is the main stabilizer of the first metacarpal phalangeal, or MCP, joint. It runs along the ulnar side of the joint between the metacarpal head and the base of the proximal phalanx. This injury most frequently results in an avulsion of the ligament from the base of the proximal phalanx. While acute cases can be repaired, chronic cases or high-demand patients may require reconstruction, as is demonstrated in this video. Instability of the first MCP joint is demonstrated. A cannulated 3.0 mm drill is used to ream over the guide wires and prepare the bones for the tendon and biotenodesis screw. The drill reams through the ulnar cortex and up to, but not through, the radial cortex. This is performed for metacarpal and phalanx. The guide wire in the metacarpal is removed and replaced with the nitinol suture passing wire from the 3 by 8 mm biotenodesis instrumentation kit. The looped end of the passing wire is ulnar. The needles on the whip stitch graft are cut off and the ends of the fiber loop are tied in a knot. The ends are passed through the looped end of the suture passing wire. The wire is withdrawn radially out of the metacarpal, pulling the whip stitched graft into the drill hole. A 3 by 8 mm biotenodesis screw is advanced into the drill hole, locking the tendon in place. The screw should be proximal to the tendon in the socket. Use the same suture passing technique on the phalangeal side, drawing the whip stitched fiber loop sutures out the radial side of the thumb. Reduce the metacarpal phalangeal joint and tension the graft into the phalangeal drill hole by pulling the fiber wire radially. Closure of the abductor, apneurosis, and other structures, as well as post-op protocol, are per surgeon preference. The arthritic trapezium is excised either in part or wholly through an incision at the base of the thumb. If a true LRTI procedure is desired, in which a tendon is used as a trapezial spacer at the base of the thumb, a second incision may be made up the forearm to harvest the flexor carpi radialis tendon. For this procedure, the FCR tendon may be partially cut, split, and drawn into the distal incision, or fully cut and drawn en bloc out of the incision at the base of the thumb. Starting approximately 12 mm distal from the proximal end of the metacarpal, a 2.4 mm guide pin is drilled from dorsal radial to ulnar volar out the beak of the metacarpal at the articular margin. Care should be taken to avoid the APL attachment with all drilling. The end of the FCR tendon is placed into the white mesh end of a quick pass tendon shuttle using a pair of pickups. The black nose of the quick pass tendon shuttle is brought from the volar beak of the metacarpal out the radial side of the bone. The tendon shuttle is drawn radially through the metacarpal, which compresses the mesh on the tendon, bringing the FCR with it. The FCR is tensioned through the metacarpal to the surgeon's satisfaction. Radial and slightly proximal tension is maintained throughout the insertion of the tenodesis screw. The excess FCR tendon may be cut off as it exits the radial side of the thumb and discarded, or it may be rolled or folded upon itself to create an anchovy for the trapezial space. If the latter is preferred, the interpositional tendon spacer is sutured together to create a more substantial cushion for the metacarpal base. The anchovy may be fixed to either the deep capsule or anchored to the bone to ensure coverage throughout the space. Closure may be done with 3-0 or 4-0 fiber wire with a portion of the FCR incorporated into it. Post-op protocol is per surgeon preference. Fixation with the biotenodesis system, however, has enabled surgeons to recommend earlier rehabilitation.